Hi everyone, welcome to this videos. I'm starting a new series of videos on Oracle Database 19C performance tuning. We'll discuss various topics starting from very basic concepts. And so it is, so if you are already a DBA, but you're very new to performance tuning, but you you have done, you are doing some performance tuning right now, but you need to enhance your skills and learn something more advanced topics then this series of videos will be perfect for you and uh, so there will be the, the, I'll, I'll make like very short videos um, covering each small topics and we'll go more advanced and more and more and more advanced topics as we go along so today we'll talk about like, what kind of different uh, performance tuning issues that you you will be dealing with and you'll be getting complaint from uh, different teams so so you'll get performance issues from the application team for some slowness some complaints or you will get a high cpu or memory uses alerts uh, from the from the database server if it, if the cpu uh, the load is really high then the DB server also sometimes might not respond or it might hang. So those kind of issues also will see that, okay, some, and then we'll come to know that some performance issue is going on. And also you'll we'll get some alerts, different type of alerts like, um, C, like CPU um, blocking sessions or temper on the space uses. So that, that will give an indication that something is uh, going on with the database in terms of performance and uh, need to be looked at. So now what are the different type of complaints that will receive from application team? So sometimes application team will say that, okay, everything was running fine application. Now entire application, everything is slow. Whatever they click on any screen, any functionality, any feature, everything is running slow. Or they could come back and say, okay, there are specific screens, specific functionality, a specific job, ETL load, or specific query. They will also come come back with this with, with a uh, specific SQL query, saying that this is running slow. It's not running fine. Now it is running slow. Or they will that there will be a request that this is the new query that we are adding on. We are testing in our non-production environment and it's it's not performing as well and we cannot take it to production. So before that, just take a look at it and try to tune this query. And then, yeah, as I said, some specific screen or specific functionality will say, okay, this screen is very slow. Other 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 things in, in the application is fine. So that will give you some indication like where the problem could be. And and sometimes they'll come and come back and say that it's not slow, but some some jobs or some some screen or some functionality is, is stuck. When they click on it, it started processing. Now it is it's stuck there. Nothing is nothing is happening. So these are different kind of complaints you will receive from application team uh, in in terms of performance. Um, but just remember that uh, anything happens with the application, um, the application team will first come and contact DBA team. Uh, the problem could be anywhere, could be at the network or the storage, or it could, it could be the application or itself, or it could be in the application server. But the moment there is a there is some issue, problem with the application in terms of performance or in terms of connectivity or anything that is not working, something connection drop, uh, they will first come and contact DBA team. Okay, so they say something is going wrong. Just can you check the database? Or they'll say, okay, this this there is a performance issue. The application is slow. Check the database performance or why it is slow. So, um, so mo most of the time, or some of the time, you uh, might f f find that uh, the problem is not with the database, some something else. But uh, but you will be contacted. So it, it is very important that you. You learn how to figure out that uh, uh, where could be the problem. Let's say there is a connection drop, and uh, um, you are you see the connections are coming, but it's a specific from a specific server it is dropping out connections are not happening. So it can ask them. Okay, it's not a database issue. It could be a network. There is a firewall between these two server, 
or something related with the connectivity or if if it is a um specific like um there are other database running on the server they're all running fine mm -hmm. and specific data complaint is about a specific application so then you can you can also narrow it down the problem it could be a specific that database or it could be somewhere else so the different ways to uh, kind of um, narrow down your your problem and and check whether the database could be a um, you know uh, bottlenecks so yeah this is just an introduction and just uh, just to show you what kind of uh, performance problems you might hear in 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 your team um in your application and uh, as we go along we'll also learn how to deal with this kind of issues and where to look at for specific problems if it's a, a specific job is slow where to look at or oh, this there is this high cp uses and then db server itself and then how to troubleshoot and different other things and techniques so uh, i'll make more and more videos to make a complete series of it so uh, check back on this and uh, that's all for now thank you bye bye